Hi guys, it's Arpa here and in today's video I'll show you guys how to make 3D text and drag it on object in your Fortnite cinematics for your Fortnite montages. And I will even show you how to add textures to your text. This effect will be really easy to make and please consider and drop a like and a sub. But other than that, let's get right into the tutorial. So the first step is you need to find where you want the 3D text to drag. So for me I want it to be on this wall. Make sure that that wall is in frame the whole clip. So as we see we can see the wall, the whole clip at the end and at the start. That's very important. Make sure that before we do the effect that you have color corrected it and do whatever you want. Because you will not be able to do that when we've done the effect. Basically now you're gonna have your cursor over it. Go to the fusion tab. Inside of here, you're gonna drag this cursor to the first frame we can see it. So for me, it's right here, the first frame after this yellow line, as you see guys, that's where the cinematic starts. Basically what you're gonna do now, press on media now, press control space, and search up tracker. And what you're gonna press is planner tracker, add, press add. If it doesn't come directly, just do it many times and it will pop up. What you're gonna do now, you're gonna press and go to the first frame again, and press on the set on the first frame. And then basically you're gonna just click out the square we want it to be. So I wanted it to be on this wall. So basically just try to base out this wall. As you see guys, make sure that it's as squarey as possible. So as you see guys, I basically squared out the whole square. Basically when you've done that, you're basically just gonna press on this thingy, press on that and basically just wait. If you've done everything right and you see green dots, you've done everything right. So. And make sure that it doesn't go as crazy like that it flies around too much because then it will mess up the text. And then you need to find another spot because maybe that spot isn't good in the cinematic. But every cinematic is different. But for me, as you see guys, it's moving pretty good with the wall. So what you're going to do now, we're going to go to fast frame again. And now we're going to press on the planet and press create plan transform. It will basically just create a node up here. But what you're going to do now, you're going to unclick anywhere, just press anywhere. And press control space and search up merge press on this and press add again if it doesn't pop up directly just do it many times connect it real quick like this then you're gonna take the planner transform connect it to this you can scroll up like this then you're gonna unclick again and press control space and search up render 3d up here press add Connect it to the planner and it should turn on red, but if it does that, n don't be scared. I'll show you guys how to fix it right now. And click again and press control space and shop directional light. Basically here, directional light. Press add. And now if you connect it to the render 3D, it the red should disappear. What you're gonna do now, you're gonna click again and press control space and search up text and should this should pop text 3D. Press add and connect it. It's many nodes, but now basically some things more you need to do and you need to add a texture to the text. I'll show you guys so you don't need to be scared. Basically write in whatever you want. I'll just write in my name. If you have a so busy, it can take some time for the text to come in. But as you see guys, for me it's messed up now. Don't be scared. I will show you guys. Do go to the fast room again. Then you go to the transform and basically in version you're gonna find where you want it to be so for me I want it to be somewhere here then in the rotation you're gonna basically rotate it uh, as much as you want so for me maybe like this then we're gonna make it smaller see this this is a tutorial so you don't need to be exact but I see guys it's already looks pretty clean we see that now it's following along pretty good with the wall it looks pretty cool now it's following the wall pretty good basically you don't need to do any keyframe just play around with it and now if you want it to be more 3d like more thick then you need to go to the text again and press on this thingy I don't know why it doesn't stand anything but just press on this and this should pop up and the only thing you're gonna play around with the here is the extrusion depth nothing else you're gonna basically zoom out as much as you think look good i think like this look good but now i will show you guys how to add a texture basically i will link an awesome texture in the description but if you find something your own basically just go to google and search up texture and you it's a bunch of different textures so yeah you can find something you like Basically download the texture and what you're gonna do, you're gonna basically just drag and drop it inside the face. You see I have it here on my timeline. 
what you're gonna do now you're gonna back, go back to 3d text and go to the shading and even side fair in the material should find tight solid but you don't want it to be solid you want it to be an image so basically now you're gonna connect the image to the 3d text and we see that it becomes textured you can also play around with this later you can now also go back and mess up with the exclusive text because every texture may be different but in my opinion this looks absolutely amazing if you think so too please consider dropping a like and the sub and yeah comment tutorial ideas and i'll see you guys in the next video bye